Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to another spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminines. All right, y'all already know this will be general, so take what resonates and if it is not, leave that shit where it's at, all right? <laughs> if you guys need a personal reading, information is down below. Also, if you are seeing this video on the same day that I'm posting it, I am running a special on reading, so be sure to check the community board to tap in, all right? So let's see what spirit got for y'all spirit what do you have for my beautiful divine feminine spirit what do you have for my beautiful divine feminine spirit girl no time for you okay no time for you first card out so whoever this person is, I don't feel like this person was making time for you. They could have been acting like they were always busy or making excuses as into why they can't see you. All right. Spirit, what else for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? What else for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? healthy connection is here all right and i feel like this is spirit coming through letting you know this is what you deserve you deserve a healthy connection and if you don't settle for less or anything you know tolerate anything less than what you deserve like the bare minimum okay you're going to be blessed with this healthy connection all right someone who makes time for you one four three on the clock someone who has your best interest at heart it's going to be healthy communication as well. So you guys aren't going to be like arguing a lot. It's going to be a lot of let's talk this out type energy. Spirit, what else? For my beautiful divine feminines. What else for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? Nice dresser is here. All right. So for some of you guys, I feel like you have someone new coming into your life or someone new is already in your life. Okay. This person carries themselves very well. Okay. They got that on. <laughs> they got it on, girl. And whoever this person is, they smell really, really good too. It's um something about their cologne. Okay. <laughs> But yes, girl, this person look good. They smell good. They dress nice. They have healthy relationship habits. All right. This is someone who's going to like, if they know something is off with you, they're going to try to do anything in their power to make you happy or to make you feel better. Like this is what you deserve. All right. Spirit, what else? For my beautiful divine feminine spirit. What else for my beautiful divine feminines? I also feel like whoever this person is also <laughs> who didn't have time for you. Like the reason why I'm laughing is because I was just going to say this. Someone else spoiling you. They're going to be jealous when they see this other person doing all the things they should have done. 333 on the clock. All right. This is someone giving you the treatment that you deserve like you know what i'm saying all they had to do was to do what they had to do but they didn't want to do what they had to do so now they missed out you know what i'm saying we got married here okay and we also got their ex okay so this could be an ex of yours that's feeling like this okay i also feel like for some of you guys um, if this person was saying like, you know, I don't have time for you or whatever it's because they were still entertaining someone from their past, you know, and now they done missed out on a whole beautiful divine feminine. All right. But divine feminine, you have to be married. This person is going to spoil you with their time, loyalty, love, even material things. Okay. Spirit, what else? For my beautiful divine feminine. What else for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? Hold on, y'all. <laughs> and I also feel like whoever this person is, I feel like you really did want to be with this person at one point in time. But like I said, you're not settling for less. So someone else stepped up. I'm serious about you. 
okay? And I feel like that's this new person. Like this person is not gonna play with your time, okay? That's one of the most valuable things that we have. All of these material things come and go. You can have a car today and that be gone next week. You get what I'm saying? Like that type of energy. But time is the most valuable thing that we have. And I feel like this person is not gonna play with your time. All right, we also got hang on here. All right, and I feel like that's this person wanting you to wait for them or at least they thought you were going to be sitting around waiting for them to choose you. But you're not. You're moving on to a healthy connection. If you're not already in this healthy connection with this new person. Spirit, what else? For my beautiful divine feminines. Oh, special occasion is here. Okay. Divine feminine. So I do feel like this new person... Um, they like to like go out, they like to go out and do things with like their lover. Okay, it's like, babe, we're going here tonight. Make sure you're looking nice. Let's put, let's put some clothes on, let's go out, let's do something. It's always a special occasion with this person. Okay, I'm seeing like museums, nice restaurants, stuff like that. Um, even you guys just taking a walk in the park, like that's the energy that this new person is on. Spirit, what else for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> that is so unladylike. <laughs> it's the Duncan, so just calm down. I don't just be out here burping, okay? Mm. <laughs> Anywho, no response. Okay, Divine Feminine. I feel like this person is going to come back around. And I don't feel like you're going to respond to them. 7-Eleven on the clock. I don't feel like you're going to entertain this person anymore like you were entertaining them before. And that's just, that's just what it is. It's like, we're done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're done. No response. Okay, and I feel like, honestly, it's this person's own karma because it's like, as soon as you get with this new person or as soon as you get the mindset of like, you know what, I'm not dealing with this no more. I'm moving forward, moving on with my life. I'm not wasting no more time with this person. All of a sudden, they want to come back around. But before, I don't even feel like this person was responding to you the way you wanted them to. They probably wasn't answering the phone, answering your text messages, or when they did, it was kind of like, eh. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, okay. Because what you want to do, somebody else will. <laughs> All right, spirit, what else? Judging is here, and we also have heartless. Okay? And I feel like this person could have been judging you, Divine Feminine. They were being very cold, very like, very cold. Just put it like that. Very cold. I don't, I don't like using harsh words, <laughs> but this person was acting very, very cold towards you. Acting like they didn't want to like be with you, be around you. They could have even been judging you by, um, the things that you have, the way that you look. It could mean anything. That they were judging you like by, but they were judging a book by its cover. You ain't even opened it up and read it yet. You don't even know what the book is about. You don't even know what the divine feminine is about, but you already judging. Okay. So, anyways, you about to be married. You about to be married, divine feminine. And that's what you've been manifesting a healthy connection, a healthy love, a healthy marriage. Something you don't have to second guess. All right, spirit. What else? Home record is here. And we also have big flirt. All right. And with this coming out, that's why I said I do feel like for some of you guys, whoever this past person is that wasn't making time for you, I feel like they were entertaining their ex. Their ex could feel this person putting energy into you. At one point in time, their ex came back 
in this flirtatious like energy like hey i miss you that type energy you know what i'm saying trying to rekindle things just to break up this connection 10 10 on the clock and they allowed it they allowed it because if they were focused on you like they should have been they wouldn't have been entertaining this ex person okay spirit what else for my beautiful divine feminine it's like they're still hanging on to their ex. Why they want you to hang on and wait for them is because they're entertaining people from their past. Divine Feminine said, I'm out of here. First class flight out of life. Okay. <laughs> Please, your body is here. All right. And to be honest with you, this person is so jealous. Like the thought of you being with someone else, someone else spoiling you them treating you the way that they should have treated you or even treating you how they could have treated you at one point in time because when you guys first got together it could have been all good and then this person just changed things shifted 11 11 and like i said it's because they allowed their ex to come in with this flirtatious energy wrecking sh okay but yeah they thinking about you being with other people it's eating this person up inside spirit what else <laughs> For my beautiful divine feminine spirit. They should have did what they had to do. Look at this, husband. This is right connected to Mary and someone else spoiling you. You, you deserve a husband or a wife. You know what I'm saying? This is what you want. We're not getting no younger. <laughs> okay. It's time, baby. It's time. And I'm so happy for you, divine feminine. I told you you're about to be married. A healthy marriage okay this is a godly union all right this is someone who's going to bring out the best in you not the worst in you spirit what else and y'all know how they be like girl what you been doing you got all that happy weight on you that's gonna be you to my family you'll be like honey nothing ain't good living good sleeping good i'm not stressy <laughs> We got the sober card here as well. And with this coming out, I feel like <laughs> it's actually the opposite, okay, for this person. I feel like this person could have been like, no matter what type of substance this is, whether it's drinking alcohol, smoking, whatever, this person wasn't thinking clearly when this ex came back around. Because I'm seeing the energy of like, I don't know, I, I, I get visions too. It's not just the cards. And what I'm seeing is two people like hanging out together. And one person's like, yo, go ahead, take a drink. Go ahead, take a drink. Y'all want to link up for drinks? Like, let's go do this, let's go do that. It's this person's ex. Okay, but they should have turned the drink down. They should have kept a sober mind. Okay, because that's what put them in this position in the first place. Period. Spirit, what else? <laughs> For my beautiful divine feminines. Because I feel like if this person wasn't drinking with this person or, you know, getting high with this person or whatever, like they would have been thinking clearly like, no, I can't do this to my beautiful divine feminine. But they weren't thinking clearly. And that's honestly the only way this person can get this person to like be with them like in a um, physical manner, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> that's the only way this person can get them to be with them is if they're not sober. Because when they're sober and they're thinking clear, they're trying to do the right thing. But they slipped up. That's all I'm going to say. Spirit, what else? Spreading rumors is here. All right. Spreading rumors. And I feel like that's this person's ex. Big flirt and home wrecker. You out here wrecking homes, but you spreading rumors. She could have with you. Okay. That's what you should have been doing. <laughs> I hear spreading rumors that are not even true. They could have been seeing stuff about you, Divine Feminine. And that's why I said this person was judging a book by its cover. You ain't even opening up and read it yet. 
You don't even know the beautiful divine feminine. Spirit, what else for my beautiful divine feminine? I'm happy for you. Okay? This is your new person. I'm telling you. This is someone who's going to be encouraging you. Putting energy, positive energy, pouring that sh back into you. Okay? Not just draining, draining, taking, taking. Now you over here, you can't get no sleep. You can't eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is somebody that's going to be like your biggest fan, your biggest cheerleader. Spirit, what else? I don't want to lose you is here. And this is right over no response. That's why I said I don't feel like you're going to be responding to this person. When they reach out again, it's going to be like, uh-uh. I'm going to get married. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Things have changed, baby. <laughs> Spirit, what else? And they don't want to lose you to this new person. But this new person is about their business. This new person stands on business. They don't come in people's lives just playing games. Spirit, what else? For my beautiful divine feminine. Mm, haters. This is right over judging, okay? And that's all it is. These people that's judging you, spreading rumors, talkish, 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 need to just shh, okay? Like I said, shh, shh, shh. all right? Hush. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but you just got to ignore them, Divine Feminine, because they ain't doing nothing but hating. Okay? They've been sipping on that hater, right? <laughs> They've been sipping on that hater, right? They got to get them something else to drink. They need to get them something else to drink because it's not healthy for you to be sipping on hater, right, all the time. At all. <laughs> Spirit, anything else? <laughs> what did I say to my feminine? Getting married. You get married. It's, it, that's just what it is. Okay? And this is a healthy marriage. Okay? This is a beautiful union. This is what you deserve. This is what you've been praying for. You know what I'm saying? You're probably looking around like, God, okay, wait a minute now. I know you promised me that I was going to be in a divine union. I was going to have a divine partner, all right? And everybody always out here like, oh, don't idolize marriage. It's not about idolizing marriage. It's about knowing what you want, knowing what you deserve. And if God gave you the vision and the spirit of being in a marriage, boom. You don't have to explain this to nobody. These haters, these people that spread in rumors or whatever the case may be, okay? Because we're supposed to be in unions, all right? We're not supposed to be divided, all this division going on you know what i'm saying because of religions colors race you know what i'm saying nationalities whatever that's not how it's supposed to be we're supposed to be coming together and love is what brings all of that together that's why love is one of the strongest things above all love is stronger than hate okay but anyways that's what i got for y'all congratulations in advance divine feminine okay because you get married <laughs> But anyways, y'all already know what to do if it resonated. Hit that thumbs up button so we can get out there to more beautiful divine feminine so we can keep healing, growing, and glowing. And I'll see y'all in my next one. God bless. Mm -hmm.